Well, hello folks off YouTube. My name's Ian and welcome to my channel. Welcome to my shed. I suppose uh, some people will say I need to offer you an apology for disappearing the last few weeks. And again, some people say I don't. It is, after all, YouTube. And I often say to people that uh, I'm in a little bit of a quandary. Listen, it's YouTube. Do what you want to do for you. But I do accept that I've got a moral responsibility to my viewers. And for that, I can only say I'm sorry uh, if I haven't let people know I was taking a short time off. I've had two weeks holidays. So it's only three weeks since I last did a video. Right. <sighs> a lot happened in that. Not so much in here that you can tell, but yeah, you'll be able to see a bit later. I finished on a Friday. Saturday, I was going out with my mates. Uh, I've known them 47 years. I've been drinking with them for 47 years. Well, that seems a long time, doesn't it? So I was off that night, and there'll be a little bit about that. That morning, that Saturday morning, we had some water coming through the ceiling. There had been a problem with the shower waste. It had decided to split. So all the uh, flooring had to come up. The basing unit had to come out. Some of the tiles had to come up. Laminate flooring up. I got that fixed. But of course, I was going out Saturday night. So I only temporarily fixed. Sunday, I didn't do anything at all. Monday, I had to go to work, even though I was on holiday, do an errand. So Tuesday, I got that fixed. I had some help. I had a visitor who said I was up in the area. And uh, could he, would he be welcome to visit? And I said, yes. Especially as seeing that he was a plumber. I said, you can, I'm in this middle of a job and I won't be able to stop too long. It's got to be done. His help was greatly appreciated, and he also brought me some beers. So we had some of that. And then I got stuck into the shed, that side, and scrapped everything I could put my hands on. Only in there, not in here. Uh, I made big things smaller. But a couple of trips to the anvil yard, so it's a bit empty, as you'll see throughout the video. Second week of my holidays. Well, I decided we, we had decided we was going to replace the flooring in the in the in the kitchen. Uh, so I did that. Took two or three days, and then I went back to scrapping in the shed, and that's why I've been not been on here doing videos. I did this filming, but I could just couldn't find the time to edit and upload. My son's wedding. In four days time uh, I'll go through the vids show bits and pieces and uh, I will say it's going to be at least another week after this I think before I can even get around to uploading again so I'll try to make it watchable see you all soon and it'll just the, the video will just end I'll see you around take care well, hello folks off YouTube. My name's Ian. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to a miserable, wet, rainy day. Standing outside in the rain fits my frame of mind at the moment. So, uh, where do we start? Wife says to me, I got up. I don't know, say about nine o'clock. She said, some water on the window ledge. I come downstairs, I had a look. I said, ooh, yeah, that's a bit strange. But then I had a look up and it wasn't. The water was coming through the ceiling, running down the wall and dripping onto the window ledge, which means we had a leak. Well, well, 
showroom is, you know, floorboarded. Lamp, what, um, you know, you know, vinyl laminate flooring. Built in. Uh, yeah, cupboard with basin on top. You know, showroom, cupboard. All had to come out. Not the shower, just all the base and everything. The lake turned out to be at the bottom. Well, I've just turned this round, haven't I? So that's the top. If it was that way, it would be the bottom of this uh, flexible pipe connector. So that was for Saturday morning. You know, we was going out shopping anyway. We needed to pick some things up. So let's go out shopping, come back, deal with it. Came back. I was out that Saturday night with some friends. My mates. My mates I've been friends with for... I started to drink with them when I was 17. I'm 64, so 47 years ago. We're all still here, and every couple of times a year we all meet up. So we met up and we went out. All right, we had a good chat, good laugh. I'm gonna put some of that here now. Well, give us a song here. We can work, you know. We won't I say, I made it home Sunday. A few more pictures there. I was worse for wear, I'm can telling you. Sunday didn't move out the house. Okay, well, I've got a little job on at the moment, and that's replacing this flooring. And to do that, because this is uh, click laminate flooring, laid on some underlay. To avoid having edging strip going all round, I screwed that skirting, I take that skirting board on and off when needed to do so. It's held on with three screws. Were uh, those screws? Well, there's a little dent there where I'm not filled it properly. So with the aid of a magnet, Not that one. Could be there. There we go. Little tip. The screws there. And I think there might be another one. There. Easy peasy. Right, let's get those off. Yeah, it's just about a digging a bit of filler out. Uncover the screw head. And unscrew it. Easy peasy. So with the new flooring down, a oh, little bit of filler and paint. It's not easy to say were 
the uh, I think there's one there I think well one of the screw walls is the only disappointment I've got is the floor I've replaced I think is 1.5 milli thinner than the floor I took off so there is a little bit of a gap under the skirting board which I may fill in I may not ah, looks like it's in for the evening however so it doesn't look like it to you lot but yeah that was up to the ceiling it's it's organized on that side we've got the uh centrifuges to take to bits we, right we've stripped loads of cable we've emptied a sack on here which contained a lot of old welding torches we're going to sort them out with a mountain full of e-waste to sort out and i'm going to have to contact sja metals to say I think we're about to time to come and pick that all up. Whoa, so with a sharp tool. Pincers are nice and sharp. I can tattle all this lot. So, ladies and gents, after some considerable amount of uh, scrapping, or mainly making bigger things smaller, because I have got at least three tubs of to sort out, or what K&D, Dan from K&D Scrapping calls smalls, winter work, I call it. The elephant has been eaten. Call at the earlier part of the video, it was t almost to the ceiling, and a bit of rearranging. Alas, and unfortunately, 
This space can't stay like that because all those tools I brought home are going to go here. Still got some bits on this side, which I, I'm going to call projects. I want to keep for projects. I haven't even tattled that pile of uh, cable yet and angle grinders. But I will do. But... I can have a dance in here. Look at all that space on this side. It's mainly stripped scrap. Like I say, I've got three tubs of stuff I need to go through. Smaller stuff. Like I say, I've got rid of all the iron uh, transformers. Not a big deal to strip. More, more bits and pieces. Microwave bell. You know, just bits, which won't take a great deal to strip anyway. And then basically all that's gone as well. Whoopie do. I'm not showing you in there though. Right, we're all rubbish. I need to take it to the tip. Well, I suppose, uh, all that lot. Hoovers, more hoovers, inverter parts, streamer parts, all oh, big bags of plastic. All oh, got to make room in the shed. That's for here. Oh, breaks me heart. Breaks me heart. Oh, oh, look at that. They've left some brass out for me. Don't touch it because there's about 20,000 cameras looking at me. Okay, let's get offloaded. <laughs> well, hey, look, is that lady just come up? I'm going to throw the pressure washer in uh, there. And I rescued it. Oh, what have you got there? And then that nice gentleman there just walked up with the. Uh, a load of bits, a load of cables. I'll have them as well. Oh, I best go on before I fill care up. Oh well, what well, did we end up here? A uh, couple of DVD players, routers, game, game controllers. Anyway, we stopped because we're going to get ourselves some fish and chips for tea. Fish and chips. So, <laughs> to the tip to get rid of, rid of loads of rubbish and plastic and I've come home with half a careful of useful stuff uh, I'm told these light panels work so we'll be sticking those up in the shed sooner or later anyway let's go round the back oh well things didn't go as well as they should have done seems we've had a little bit of a scrap of lunch, which is a bit upsetting because it's all uh it's all nails, so it looks like that tub, well, whatever was on there fell off. I've tidied a lot of it up, but uh, get, oh, get on your knees here. Pick these penny nails up. And uh, <laughs> onwards and forwards. Squeeze that last one in there. And the decision comes. Because it seems obviously that those tubs tipped upside down. You know, sort of like these grey ones here. Uh, they obviously go in one tub. Uh, do we separate them all now, individually, while I'm on my knees? I think not. I think we just go like that. Stick them in there and uh, sort them out on the bench at a later date. Well, so without a doubt, we seem to be getting somewhere. Uh, uh, kind of stacking things up on the left and stacking things up on the right. Uh, we know 
the bench is clear. I've just got to make this walkway clear. So, time to get old Henry out. Yeah, there's Henry. Just giving me a little bit of a wink. And bit of a jury rig end there. Uh, and even more of a jury rigged. Thing. It's like from an Henry to something, tape round it, just reduce it to something else. But I think it'll do the job. Full power, why not? Get back on your knees, my friends. That didn't work so well, did it? I didn't stick it in hard enough. <laughs> See you come out now, you bastard. Uh, I found a big oven as well, while we was turning up. Well, 10 minutes on my knees, sucking with a, an Uber, vacuum cleaner. We've got a bit of a clean walkway clean enough to run the vacuum cleaner over anyway uh, so it would be true to say at the beginning of this video when it's all a bit of a mishmash uh why have i been absent so long i haven't been able to get at my computer as in at least i've got a walkway to the computer but the PC is absolutely buried. Well, the PC ain't buried. Well, it is. There's the PC. There's the monitor. There's a cat in hell's chance of getting at the keyboard and mouse. Uh, so that's one of the reasons why I ain't been on for so while, because I've not been able to find anywhere for that to go. Because I've moved it from here to there and there to there, and there to there, and scrapped all that, and made a load of room. Even though to you people it may not seem like a load of room, that to me is like, wow. And don't forget, I've got all that clean space at the back of there. So all the tools that I've collected lately, which sadly means all them, because they've got to go in those green tubs I've brought home, jet washed today, cleaned out. They will go into that, that will go behind there, stack them up. Sooner or later, I'll be able to go through them. Bit like Chris from The Ultimate Recycler. Keeps things for, you know, 15, 20, 25 years, then brings them out and goes through them. We are no different. Apart from the fact I don't have an anchor in my shed. I've got everything else, including that HP laser printer he displayed in this other video. I don't have an anchor. I had a chance of an anchor. I thought, what the flipping heck would you need with an anchor? Let's carry on. Whoa, look at that. We can, we can have a dance in here now. However, yes, look. We finally got to the computer. It took a while. We can even switch it on. And sounds like it's coming on. We only have one tiddy problem. Where's the keyboard? And where's the mouse? Eh, I guess he's under there somewhere. Won't be the first time I've stuck my hand in a dark place. I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. You can always find a mouse by its tail. Unless of course it's a wireless mouse in which you can't. Come on in. How long is that? 
Hey, winner, winner, chicken dinner. We're back on. My name's Ian. And welcome to me sh channel. Welcome to me shed. Let's carry on. More to do yet. Oh, yeah. Fucking great. Managed to clear all that. Make some space. One tiny mistake on that side. And a fucking old fucking lot come down. <sighs> Onwards. And forwards. I guess there's nothing left for it, but... That's a fine mug indeed. 